Lisa Sugar gets an update on COVID-19 in our community from Dr. Jody Lenko, the Vice Chair of the Department of Medicine at Lehigh Valley Hospital, Hazleton. Dr. Lenko, are we seeing cases on the rise or stabilizing here in our area? So unfortunately, we are seeing some um, higher numbers of cases, especially in the community over the last few weeks. Uh, I would say definitely in the last three weeks, we've had a lot more of our patients in the community testing positive. And more notably, um, which has us a little bit more concerned over the last week, we've had a, a significant rise in our um, hospitalized patients. And that's what um, we're really looking at um, in terms of how severe this, this disease is, is following the hospitalized numbers. You're not at a point though where you're being overwhelmed. No, and um, the good thing is, is that this, this if you're gonna call it a small wave, we're still much lower than where we were in back in even January um, with the first Omicron wave. Um, this is, if you will, Omicron two, uh, because we're still seeing a lot of um, all of these cases that we're seeing are Omicron. Um, but the cases are not as severe, meaning that the people that are in the hospital are not um, as likely to be uh, placed on a mechanical ventilator, placed on the breathing machine, um, and many of them are likely to go home. And I think that just has to do with, um, one, the number of uh, patients that are vaccinated, because that helps you fight off the infection, uh, and two, the other medicines that we have to treat the infection early on. So all those things in combination are helping keep um, the patients alive and, and uh, getting them discharged from the hospital sooner. The patients that you are seeing, are the majority of them vaccinated or are they not vaccinated? Both. Um, you know, the majority of our country, fortunately, is vaccinated, although we still do have about 30 percent of the country that's not vaccinated. Um, so it's it's both. Um, you know, we're seeing both vaccinated and unvaccinated patients get COVID. It's all across the board right now. Um, and unfortunately, we don't have as much data because a lot of the patients that were that are testing positive are doing home tests. So we don't, that information doesn't get reported to us um, on, on, the, on, the, on the updates from the Department of Health. So it's a little hard to judge, um, but we've known in general that the majority of uh, the patients that are gonna be, go on to become severely ill are going to be the older individuals, uh, people with higher high risk medical conditions. Are people being reinfected? I'm hearing of people who say, oh, I've had it two times, I've had it three times. Uh, how is this possible? And is it just minimal when they do get it again? So yeah, it's interesting. There have been um, definite reports of patients, at least I've had a handful of patients in my own practice, at least uh, being infected twice. Um, not quite as many being infected three times, but it can happen. Um, it does decrease the chances if you are vaccinated of getting it again and again, uh, but it's not never 100%, it never will be. Um, so we are definitely seeing that. Um, and why it happens is uh, twofold. One, the, vac uh, the, vi the virus uh, mutates, so it's not quite the same virus that they had the first time. Um, and the second reason is your immunity, we call it wanes, it goes down over time, whether that's the immunity from the first time you had COVID or if it's the immunity from your vaccine, it does go down a little bit um, every month. If you've not been vaccinated and you're still thinking about it, this is, the, I've said this before, there's no time like the present. Um, very safe, very effective vaccine uh, for the two-shot Moderna and Pfizer vaccine. Um, and the more important thing, I think people are kind of, um, have gotten away from thinking about their booster shots. I think it's an important time to uh, get your booster shot um, for especially that third shot if you haven't had that yet. Um, that has a, a very significant improvement in the immunity that your body has. Um, and especially if you are um, over four, uh, four to six months from your third shot, you are eligible for a fourth shot. Um, so it's very confusing, but if you haven't had that third shot, now is the time to get it. I know we were all hopeful this would be, you know, like the flu and then it goes away. Are you seeing that or you're keeping your fingers crossed? Well, we were all hoping that eventually there will be some, we call it seasonality to this. We've seen over the past two years that our winter surges have been worse. Um, so we think that that's likely going to continue, um, that the, the November, December, January uh, for next year, we're already planning for that to happen. Other than that, it's a little hard to tell. Um, I think we're all kind of just rolling with it at this point and just doing what we can to uh, keep ourselves safe, to keep our staff safe. Um, wearing masks um, and whenever we're indoors and doing everything we can to try to keep the numbers down as much as possible.
Lastly, where is the place for them to go to either register or get information on getting vaccinated? So um, vaccines are readily available um, at almost all major pharmacies now. Um, you almost don't have to make an appointment at most places. Um, so they're available at any, any major pharmacies with any of our, we still have uh, vaccine uh, uh, clinics at all of our healthcare facilities through Lehigh Valley and going to lvhn.org um, backslash COVID-19, you'll have, be able to get all of the information um, you need about vaccines, about testing, testing equipment, um, and about all the uh, antiviral medications that are available now too. 